How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Taz Astrical, this is RimWorld, and we are going well, party people. How well? Well, I'll let you guys be the judge anyway, party people. Let's have a jolly good episode, shall we? It's all going pretty well. We're even organising stuff. People said it would never happen. Yet it's happening. We've got the solar panels outside that are going up because there was an incident with a wind turbine that will just be referred to from this day forward as the incident. So we can all get on board that because the less said about that, the better. Moods in the colony are pretty rock a locking Apart from if you're woolly. Serious pain, absorbed, rotting corpse. I wish it would tell me where. I imagine it's going to be that one. So we could just build another grave to sort that out straight away. I forgot you can just build the graves on the sands. That's why I was putting them on here, which is one of their moments. Bruh. Right, we do have some dead bodies around from the last time out. So it would be nice to get as many of these before they spoil. Which is a weird way to talk about human meat, but let's be honest, when we talk about Rimworld Party people, a lot of the things we say, if anyone heard us, the FBI, would be knocking at the door. FBI, open up! So, that's the main priority, because while we're not stretched for food, because we have these two people, we do have to be a little bit more careful, careful. Um, so yeah, so priorities for this episode. Let's go and speed free as we're going through story time. I would like to actually start focusing on tailoring a little bit more. We have got tattered apparel and whatnot, and we have lots of human meat to, uh, sorry, lots of human leather to address that. I'm hoping we're going to be fine with human leather. There's not going to be any problems. So Willie for this episode is getting a bump up. You're getting a little promotion, so you're still going to clean. Then I would like you on to tailoring. Yes, I would. Older is currently cooking a vegetarian meal. With the milk. Okay, I was wondering how you were doing that, but that's fine. You're going all that way! Are you serious? So, how to fix that is the vegetarian meals we'll put last, so that she'll focus on the carnivore meals, which basically just means you're focusing on the human meat. I'm going to up that by 10. We've got enough meat that we should be prioritizing the fine meals and getting ourselves on more fine meals, because that gives us a little bit of a mood boost. And in this colony, every little mood boost, we're going... That's just awkward. It's awkward for everyone when the power goes off. Let alone when I'm midway through story time. And then it flickers like we're having an, like an electric party. So, priority. I'd like all this up so the next time attacks come, we don't have to worry about it. That would be great. We're focusing on tailoring so we can get some more clothes, so we can get off the tattered. Holding these death rest because we interrupted that because Wooly is a silly sausage. So we'll get Holder to cook a load of meals. Because Willy won't cook and I don't really want you to. No, what are you doing? Where's the butcher? Can you just butcher? I'd rather you run around like butchering all these. Where have you gone? Really? Really? Really, Holder? Right, okay. Oh, the body. Oh, okay, okay, my bad, my bad. That was me being judgmental. I thought the body, the dead body that was there was still there. Medical emergency. Is Woody okay? You're fine. Medical emergency, these two. They're okay. Let me have a look at their... Waster. They will actually die without drugs. So they've got psych... Dependency, damn. So they're both in comas now. And then after 60 days, they're going to die. Okay, so we need to get make sure our hemogen farm is going up. Now, I hear what you party people say about... Like, Wooly could probably give Holder enough blood to keep Holder going. But what I like to do when I play these uh, playthroughs, whatever playthrough, I like to like get into the role. So while Wooly would probably be enough, I like to do the whole, we're vampire, we're going to be evil, we need lots of blood. So that so it's like a little bit of role play sort of. Um, not like role play that you don't want your mum and dad to know about because you're dirty boys and girls. But the role play, just like when we're doing RimWorld, like if we do a playthrough with this designation. I like to lean towards it just because I find that really fun and really engaging. 
So with knowing these two naughty, are they both boys or girls? These two naughty boys are going to die means we will have to replenish this stock, which sounds great when you're talking about humans. Volcanic winter, what is the temperature outside? What does a volcanic winter really do for us? Not really much. It will affect the solar generators. So let's just see what the rewards are. Nothing worth risking that. So imagine the problem here is we haven't got the steel. Haven't got the components. Is Woolly set for mining? No. How long are you death resting for? 3.3 days. So we're probably going to get attacked. So we might have to put... Sadly, tailoring on the back burner to do some mining. Pause. To basically set you up to mine these just so we can get the solar panels up. Because my concern is, one, the power keeps flicking in and out. Two, if attacks come, we're also going to have to focus on this wall. So can we work on the solar generator, please? It hasn't actually got that much work left on it. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you. Right, then let's get the granite walls up. Oh, I'm going to have to hold shift and... ...is up. That's absolutely fine. All part of the master plan. The master plan pretty much is, you know, holder to space. Holder is the woman. Three days. Uh, eating a meal, I'll allow it. Have we got the blocks to build the rest of this? Not really. And they actually, they only need five. Have we got 15? No. Bit awkward, but it's fine. I mean, we could get... Is Woolly on crafting at all? No. Take you off mine. I'll whack you back up on tailoring them. So at least you're doing something for us. Have you got Smitha? Whack that down, smithing up. Turn the Smitha on. Then I'll get you smelting some stuff, just to get rid of some stuff. Uh, that's not ideal. Nowhere to haul it. Oh, eat that meal. Sorry, Willie. Not assigned to craft, and I thought it was smelting. There we go, get rid of some stuff. It should destroy some apparel as well, but this will give us like tiny bits of resources, although Woolly's mood is not exactly superb. I might have to like draft on draft just to reset everything. Just so Woolly doesn't have a breakdown, sadly. Come on, Woolly. Alright, draft on draft. What is the matter with you? Oh, it's just the recreation you need. Okay, gotcha. Beauty's still not great in the colony. How much blood have we actually got stored up? 12, 14. So if I go woolly, all this human leather, then haul that human meat. The freezer is now a freezer again. Hurrah. Right, now Willie's cleaning, which is important because otherwise it's massive moods we get just for something like really silly, like a quick spring clean. And because we're spring chickens, you know, we sh I don't know why I did that. Bruh. I've embarrassed myself, so. Right, solar panels are doing okay, but to be fair, it's just the smelter. We do need to get rid of some stuff. I'll flick it off for the time being just because we're not actually using it. Uh, Woolly, can you repair that? Need components. I took you off mine, and so I'll just whack you. Be free, free, and then you're always technically on mining. The freezer are actually up at the moment, it isn't. Okay. I thought it was just because of the door, but no. Why did you lose all your food as Holder wakes up? Wow, it turns out I'm a silly sausage. we go perfect click there see the temperature going down on the right hand corner over here 
Okay, perfect. Enough meals for when Holder comes back around. 1.7 days. That's gone really quick, actually. Sometimes days in RimWorld feel like they take a lifetime, but I think because we are running a lot smoother than before. The only problem now is obviously our dreams and aspirations for the colony. More than we've actually, um, more colonists than we've actually got. So that is sort of like a low term goal get that third person. I don't know what I want that third person to be though. We don't care if they get food poisoning. Probably want another colonist. I can probably cook, and then Holder can just sit on research, perhaps. But Holder has got the two passion on cook, so it sort of makes sense for Holder just to stay on that. Mm. Food for four, anyway. Basically, the goal is here: is Holder to get out of this death rest with no attacks and whatnot, and then we can carry on the grind. I don't know why that's there. Willie, what are you doing? Job evaluation. All these got rotted. This stockpile here just needs stuff hauled, really, don't we? I'll take you off of constructing. I don't hate that. Yeah, I'm going to take you off minor. Probably a miner would be good. I'm going to put your hauling to one. I'm going to draft. I'm going to wait for you to fix this, actually, because getting another trap up is great. And then actually just let you... you really going all that way. All right. I'm not happy with you keep coming all the way up here. Willie, it's actually agitating me. You're wasting so much time every day going to, like, the edges of the map. So we'll keep you in the home zone. And then we've literally set you up to haul and clean. So maybe the next colonist can be a bit of a waster in the sense of just get someone to haul and clean so then Wooly doesn't have to sit on them. Not that it's like the be all and end all, but that's the only thing that's sort of like bogging us down a little bit. Um, 14 hours. That just went really quickly. Don't you dare eat any of our food. Not helping itself, chilling, maxing, relaxing. Last time, maybe the iguana is the colonist we needed. Maybe, maybe. I thought I wondered if it was tame for him or not. I'll hold a go out of that and obviously randy random blessed us with a moment of rest. Which is always appreciated, Randy. Right, there we go. All the hauling's getting done now. Just need it being done, I think. It's a bit out of control, this colony, at the moment. Although, at least we can say our medical skills, like seven medicine, three. At least we got some medicine, so at least if anything happens to these two... Hopefully they can operate. I mean, they're not going to be able to, uh, like, do open heart surgery or anything like that, but. But this stockpile here can expand. Just making sure the right stuff is getting dumped. Holder can now wake from death rest safely. Hopefully we don't get... All right, wake now. Do you still get a negative from it? Ah, oh, great, so we get a plus four. Much better, much better. So the room is actually quite pleasant at the moment, which is good. So that's it's not bad, not bad like that. Right, so holder, come... No, we want you on... Yeah, holder's making blocks. Okay, here we go. The fine oiled machine is back. We're actually running out of blocks quite quickly. Um, I'd like to keep them both. I don't want to keep them in the home zone just because then. 
problem with expanding the home zone is they'll do like put out fires so they'll run across so really we'd like another area so yeah we'll just call it area two we know what it is and area two is basically like you can go here i don't want you going any further more for time restraints otherwise we're wasting so much time like running to like wherever so area two much better a quest expires it's easy glitter word medicine and we don't have any medicine but the hyper weave for 35 we're not going to be able to do much with that and obviously the bow and the silver are a bit of nothing toxic fallout we could do Six point four days. I mean, we do a lot of our stuff inside anyway. Like, just trying to think how bad that would impact us. Deteriorate everything outside for a bit. It's just whether it affects our power. What are the rewards? Neek joins, but it doesn't tell us anything about him. So then I could do them both back to back. That's for 19 days. Yeah, reducing the sunlight. We can't really do that. But we could do the toxic fallout, except Neek. Worst case scenario. Let's just accept it. I'm going to change... Uh, right, Neek joins. We'll have a look at Neek in a moment. I'm going to change area to dramatically. Right, I don't mind these zones get into but I don't want to encourage people really going outside I'm gonna have to have a look does Holder get affected by toxic fallout there's tox immunity so carriers of this gene are totally immune to toxic buildup like like Hot damn. pretty good so, Neek and Wooly are going to stay in the home zone. Home zone we're going to change drastically then, which we probably should have done anyway. Because again, I don't want to encourage them to come outside for long periods of time. Okay, there we go. And everything outside really is like tattered and needs to um, deteriorate quite quickly anyway. But Ago Holder can then stay in the area too. She can do a little bit more. Not that there's going to be much for her to do. I'm going to delete these growing zones. I suppose it doesn't hurt leaving them, I guess. And there we go. Right, let's have a look for Neek. Let's first go to health. No health conditions. Needs. Toxic fallout. Why are you getting a minus five? Interesting. You are outside getting it. Gotcha, gotcha. It never used to give you any negatives. And then Holder doesn't care in the slightest. That's perfect. Okay. I'm sort of delaying looking at if if Neek... Let me just, let me just throw this out there. If Neek is incapable of hauling and cleaning... I am just going to cut his head off. He doesn't get the pleasure of us even draining his blood. I saw caring. I'm panicked. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> 15 melee. Sickly. Oh. Oh. Are you much good to us? Yes. We did so. The problem is, it's going to be like just genuinely recruiting you is going to be a pain. So we need to go. Misc. Not misc. I need to. Uh, the ritual thing. A right, ritual spot there. Willie, I need to. What is your social free? Blah. Just clicking buttons now. I can't even remember what I want. Sign roll.
Right, we're going to have to imprison you. It's going to be quicker to recruit you. You're literally just going to be our hauler cleaner, right? Slowpoke. Ugh. Sickly. Ugh. So I can smooth for females. That's quite nice for Holder. Holder is actually getting some time to do some research, which is nice. Willie, hopefully, with being stuck, like, in this position, is actually going to be more helpful because... Um, more hauling and cleaning will get prioritised. So, Neat, go there. Draft you. Try to arrest. Get in jail. So, Neek, prisoner. We are going to... Convert. You must be devastated. Do we just... You're not a great colonist. We don't need a necessarily a great colonist. I love the idea. Like, um, do you two aware there's like you just farming their blood? No, no, no. They're sick. We're helping them. This is the medical bay. Yeah, we're just just casually converting you in the medical bay. Bully, are you getting toxic? Build up. No, oh, wrong one. A little bit. Little bit of. Chucking outside. Human Levar. Can I turn the smelter delta on, please? I'll do doing research, and we're currently researching Mitro Electronics, which is going to be huge for us because we can get a comm system and everything. I want to get everything hauled and cleaned. Okay, good. Holders on this, so that's really cool. So then what I can do is take Wooly off of crafting altogether. Don't even worry about it. Tantrum Neek. Yeah, whatever. Um, I want to beat you up. Well, it looks like we're cutting off Neek's limbs because no way, Jose, is the way to explain that. Neek, you're so lucky I don't just cut you up now. Um, Willie, are you okay? Can you build that bed? Evidently not. Just casually... Willie's just given up. Of course. Well, you are causing me so many problems for someone that wants to live. Like, that was the tamest breakdown I've ever seen in my life. My right, holder. How is your health? What are you doing? Yep. Take his blood. He deserves it. He deserves it, party people. I'm not having any of it. Absolutely deserves it. Older can have all the blood. Woolly's lucky. Woolly's not in there. Cargo pods. The game feels sorry for me. Brilliant. So glad they gave us that. Right, there we go. We're actually smelting stuff, which just means the stockpiles don't get so crazy. 
I mean, we still got plans. We still got plans to, you know, expand our kill box and whatnot. Yeah, the stuff deteriorating outside is fine because it's all tainted stuff anyway. And then the bills holders doing now is just to get the little bit of resources out the silly little things. If holder's not on the smelter, we need to get better at turning it off. I wish there was a way to like automatically turn it off and on. I suppose that would defeat the object. Then it would make that. Skull has died. Malnutrition. Hold a butcher. Well, we told you, the food goes to us first. We'll have a look at that quest in a minute. Just want to make sure holder is not wasting food. Perfect. And your many enemies. We get someone to join. We'll get two raids. Um, if Willy gets out of this breakdown, I'll accept it. How long have we got to accept it? Three hours. Do I trust Holder? Yeah, I think we do. Bring Holder just in the home zone so we don't go too far away. Holder's currently just got the revolver. Uh, are you a good colonist? I don't hate you. Capable of violence, but I do not hate you. I think you'll do nicely. We'll still imprison you and recruit you, but... I'm in the base. So, what can you do for us? can cook, which is handy, but you won't be. You've got a passion for constructing. You're basically going to construct, grow, plant, cut, which then holder can come off, grow, and plant, cut, which is nice. And then hopefully holder can get to research a little bit quicker. Right, so let's carry on doing what we were doing here. Gold making that. Schedules are fine. Saying that. But why are you having a tan? Don't care. Don't care. Absolutely don't care. Right, here we go. So here's the attacks coming. Okay, so they are preparing first, correct? They are. So what we need to do really, run up blocks, but we have slate blocks. Because the only issue that we're going to have here is obviously if they can take out our power. Because a big problem with our base is we could end up getting cooked if we're not careful. Problem is with this power conduit coming in here, coming down here, it makes us so vulnerable, it's scary. So what we're probably going to have to do is run a power conduit down here. Because I just think we're too vulnerable by running it down like the way we're doing. Gold, you need to build that there. A colonist left unburied. Well, this is awkward if that bothers you because we're about to eat them. Uh, I need to make sure our roof is not going to get built because this game loves a roof. There we go. So come inside. Perfect. Oh, do we're going to keep revolver. Like, I did think about going to the shotgun. What I do like about the revolver is it just gives us a little bit more range. I didn't actually realise they were coming. And pretty quickly. She said. Uh, combat command. First one's dead. Machine gun pistol. It's actually really, really fast. Yeah, they're having their own little war outside, which helps. Yeah, because it was two tribes, so they obviously... Okay. Um, so, I'd like to reinstall the chessboard there. Build that copy there, so then we can do that. Then we can build a copy of a bed there, which is handy. I eat them. Perfect. We have got power problems, but we will sort them. Okay, Holder, this is all down to you now, girl. Woolly has given up on us. Let's 
can't cut the mustard. We need some good shots. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good. So accurate. So accurate from our girl. Right when we need her to be. Right when we need her to be the penultimate. Every shot. Bam. 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 The only disappointing is because toxic buildup is on them. Their corpses are going to rot. On. Rot. Bang. Good shot. Bang. Good shot. Because it's dark. We're getting all the boosts. I'm going to pull her away in a minute. Pull you away now. I can't heal myself. That's fine. How bad did we hit you? You are going to die. That's fine. Remember, Holder doesn't mind the toxic fallout. It doesn't bother her in the slightest. So the rush is on them to come and assault us. We won't have none of that. They're going to set fire to our stuff. We have to be careful now. Because this fire could spread down our power conduit. Shot. Hey, run away from that Holder. Gold. Go away. Actually, I should just do gold sides, but I'm going to clear sides. No, just come away. Let, let Holder work her magic. And what are you doing, gold? No, why are you coming out here? Right. Then we're going to equip the tox grenades. I don't like that they're setting fire to everything. Throw one of them down there. Perfect. Equip the revolver. The way you're running to. Get him, Holder. Long jump. Missing spike. Sit. Everyone in the home zone. Right, gold. Draft on draft. And he just put out fires. Because actually we're starting to cook in here. 77. Go, go, go. Power has gone down. Back on speed. For I assume that's all the frets. You're running away. So dead bodies over here. But we probably won't go and get them. Especially with the toxic fallout. I don't really want to waste the time. I think we've got enough food at home. I'm going to delete this growing zone. They just seem to want to burn it every time, which, if you ask me, is incredibly negative. Hold it. I need you to wake up to butcher that body outside. I don't want it to go rotten. Not made of cash, made of food. We are going to imprison gold shortly. Let's use gold to actually build stuff, although gold is going to have a breakdown in a bit. Problem is, is, she's so unhappy with everything we do, and the base is ugly, and brr, brr, brr. moan, moan, moan. Come to me with solutions, not problems. Is that the right light? Looks really bright for some reason. Right, we dealt with that quite nicely. Gold, gold, gold is going to be a good addition. I think. Good addition to the colonist, but we are going to uh, imprison her because it's quick. I think it's just easier to recruit that way. Like, you look at her negatives, right? Butchered human, ate human. Like, we need to get rid of all that. So I'm very much afraid to say you are arrested. But you're a colonist. Oh, resistance 2.21. Convert. Right, there we go. Right, I need Willy to get off, get up now. Help up the colony, that would be great. Uh, can we do... Seeing if there's anything I could do drafted, but no. Okay, that's fine. Don't know if we could heal your bad attitude. I think the power problems we're having is because the smelter's on. 
to want to smell some stuff. I was going to say, Gould can have decent meals because we don't really... The, yeah, the, is Gould the one? Yeah, problem here is so you're... Oh, it's going to be like 50 Oh, jeez. Like, recruiting her is going to be such a pain. Such a pain in the bum. Let's turn the smelter off because we're sort of struggling. That'll be a big drain on our power. Also, turn the tailor bench off. Just because, you know, we're not using it at the moment. Oh, that should help with the power a little bit. Power conduit, we have got the plans. Smooth that surface, then we'll bring the power cable down the, the wall. So then hopefully we're a little bit safer in that aspect. If it can't just get set on fire and smoke us out, so to speak. Okay, all in all, I'm happy. All in all, I'm happy. We didn't achieve anything we really wanted to, but... I blame that on Wooly, to be honest. Like, Wooly is either eating our meals or just laying in bed eating our meals. At some point, you need to stop eating our meals and helping us. Oh, are you okay? You're, like, re-evaluating your life standing there. <laughs> just look to Holder there like, please don't give up on me, Holder. Please. Right, there we go. Then we can run that right down the wall. To be fair, if we smooth this wall here, then we can run the whole power conduit down the wall. Then it's not ugly and it doesn't bother. Gold, crisis of belief. Oh, come to daddy. Gone down to 9%. Because the hideous environment. Yes, it works to our favour. <laughs> Enjoy, embrace the ugliness. We're basically someone that's not meant to be easily broken. My colony is so bad, we were able to break them really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, chess table needs chairs. Does it? Does it? There's me trying to play it on in the bottom of the toilet all this years. Ah, I thought people thought I was weird. Does it fall out? Lasted four days. How long does it last for? La la la. Six point four, so not too bad. Again, it doesn't really slow any progress down, so it's fine. Until Wooly sorts his life out, there's not really anything we can do anyway, so not too concerned. I mean, at the end of the day, I'd be more concerned if Holder wasn't an absolute beast. Do you know what I mean? We get so many boosts from combat, especially at night and stuff, that it's like. You've seen how deadly we are with that revolver. So imagine how deadly we're going to be with like an assault rifle or something. Like, jeez. That's why we need to build a defense that requires them to come in on us. So, like, I think what we probably will do down the line is have this first alley. Have our base over here like we've got it. I'll get rid of it. Have our base over here like we got it. But then have this walkway come out here. Then we'll bring them down here. And then we can have a shooting gallery here. And you come in on our base. That's what I'm thinking. And then for the breachers and sappers, we'll just have a long path like here where we can, again, shoot them as they come down. Willie, are you still full breakdown? Yeah. Yeah, of course you are. It's going to be that sort of end to an episode. All right, luckily we've still got loads of blood for hold. Can we... Yeah, well, if you're just going to lay there, I'll still nick your blood. <laughs> right, and then we can go power con... Oh, I need to smooth that. Oh, 
Noble Certainty, 6.5. What we don't want is Gould to be like, oh, I found this other religion that I've never heard of, and how now I magically do that instead of yours, which would be utterly upsetting. It's happened to me quite a few times. I will cry. I will literally cry. Wooly is back! Whee! Right, Wooly, you've let us down, so it is time! It's time to make Daddy proud. Time to make Daddy proud. None of this messing about anymore, my man. Let's be about it. Right, power conduits can then come down all through the walls. Which is just going to be a lot safer. Then you've got the even the power conduit here. It's not great, is it? Deconstruct. I need to make sure I click on the power conduit, otherwise it's going to try and deconstruct doors and stuff like that. And that's generally going to annoy me. Construct. Like, we're basically like future-proofing our base a little bit here. Just to make sure we're as safe as humanly possible. Uh, Wooly, are you prioritizing hauling by any chance? You are. My bad. My bad. My bad. Construction down to three, and then you will clean first. The cleaning is what we need to do. So we can get rid of all these negatives. Get rid of the things that broke gold. Gold. I'll never say your name right. I'll try. Meals, 14 meals. It's not great, but it's not bad. Probably the series that we need some animals inside, so like some chickens, obviously cows. Cows are so powerful. I don't mean like superpowers, but who knows? Moo. Oh, I was going to be like maybe, like mooby. Mooby someone knows, but it's not really funny or anything. And I'm just going to pretend I never said anything and I'm just going to stop. Stop it. Get some help. Convert. That our religion. I don't even know what our religion is called. Yeah. Yeah. Prisoner, recruit. Because you automatically reduce resistance, then recruit. Perfect. Be a long recruiting process, but once it's done, we're going to be living on cloud nine. It's a power conduit there. Deconstruct. Much better, much. It means they can't set fire to it. They start setting... Hold us... Hold us started a social fight with Gould. I was worried that you were using your sword then. I feel like Holder needs, like, a room to herself away from everyone. We have no blocks. We're going to have to do some mining. I mean, there's other stuff we want to do before that, but... Um, to be fair, what would probably be more handy than just mining random stuff outside is probably just making our stockpile a little bit bigger. So we'll do that. We'll need another solar generator at some point as well. So actually, I will mine that square, that square up. There will be a power conduit up this wall eventually anyway, so I might as well just queue it up now, so that's fine. Probably means we need to slightly prioritise some steel, even though I just said we don't need to. Okay, toxic fallout. The worst has settled. Perfect. Hasn't really impacted us, impacted us at all, apart from we lost a few more human meat. Which is always a disappointing day. Turn the tailor bench back on. It's just basically how long Gould will take to recruit. Not a terrible colonist. But then getting three people in our religion will then allow us to 
use the morale guides, which then we can like convert, reassure, like do all this sort of stuff. Blood ritual, version ritual. Yeah, all that sort of good stuff. So that'd be good. Then we get mining specialist. Have you got a passion for mining? No. Older of you. Don't be silly, Tazastical. There we go, redoing all these power conduits. Long overdue. But we're smashing it, we're doing well. Yeah, Gould will be a good member of our society. So we just need to catch up on some other bits, then we can do some mining, get some more blocks, then we've got the materials to do stuff. And we're rocking it a little bit more. Why is power not going here? Look. It's not connected to the battery. It's jump. It's fine, it will be in a minute. There's a raid. And they have stepped up five humans. Are they attacking immediately? We will prepare for a while. Is it just them? Will need to help us this time. So excellent revolver. Yes, please. Can I just check the shooting on both our seven and six. Dump all that outside because we don't really care about it. Okay, we're 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 caught catching up on everything, which is nice. Like the smoothing of the wall thing isn't a massive priority, but it's just going to be so much nicer. They are beginning their assault. Wait for them to get a little bit closer. Draft boys and girls. I'm debating whether to put a little like sandbag barricade there. We seem to keep fighting here anyway. At least that way we get a bit of cover. Hold up, get the good revolver. And we're in the dark again, so we get our bonus. I've got bows, so we have to be careful. Good shots. Make sure we're spreading our shots, please. Okay, move back. Please move back. Come on. Ah, I was just about to say, we don't need a silly hit there. Let's get into the kill box. Because of the difficulty that we're on now, what we're trying to do is basically kill people before they hit our traps, which doesn't always work. The idea is we want to save as many traps in case we get like battered from Randy again. What are they doing? They're tending their wounds, I guess. Like here, because then they don't know where to get cover. The dream team. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Hot damn. Yeah. Uh, we have got a colonist here we could potentially take in underground. Uh, bang, 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 bang. Get in the van. Now that's a colonist if I've ever seen one. You gonna make it out? Yeah, you should do. Got a little bit of blood that we don't have to worry about harvesting anything. Uh, no medicine for you. Hold up, come and tend. You are a very good colonist. Prisoner, convert. Just double checking that you are. And you have a lot of passions everywhere. And an undergrounder, so you don't even mind being inside, which is actually pretty banging. Considering that is what we're doing. Make sure you get healed up. No cutting these limbs off, Holder. This is four colonists we can get here. Which 
then we're going to have to then... Have you got any mining passion? Oh, thank you, Ribworld. Thank you, Randy. Gold, how far are you away from... Yeah, miles away. Disease infection. Okay, so let's go. You can have a little bit of medicine. All right, good colonists. I don't mind giving you some. Hopefully this is a good quality, but the room is terrible. 69. Hey, hey. <laughs> so creepy. Yeah, immunity is doing well. Really happy. We've got two colonists um, that are going to join us that we're really, really happy with. So that's a really good... So while we haven't achieved all our goals today, and I think some sometimes RimWorld is just like that, sadly... We've achieved the better goal of actually getting some colonists. Now, with this, Randy is going to ramp up his attacks massively. It's why I'm never, like, on these difficulties. I'm never, like, too rushed off my feet to get more colonists. Because I know what's coming. And because he won't... Unlike Colossandra that just always ramps up her attacks. Randy doesn't really seem to. So you can sort of get away with the early game. At least this is how I've always done it. By just not getting too many colonists too quick. And what that means is if you look at our base, we've got a functioning base. And we're not getting hit that hard. So we can deal with it and actually grow. So basically what I'm saying, party people, is I'm sort of a mastermind. I'm sort of a mastermind. Out of all this chaos, I know what I'm doing. I'm talking nonsense because the first comment will come in and go, that's not how it works. <laughs> but... The dream, the good mood that I'm having now, it does work. It all makes sense. It all feels like it's coming together in this in this moment. Yeah, and then next episode, it's just a case of keep recruiting them to. We've got a good basis to build ourselves on. Make the stockpile bigger. Move the works bases into there as well, which would be very, very ideal. Um, yeah, and then make sure we've got the beds ready for them when they do come. Our Albo, which is going to be your name. Albino, Albono, Albo, 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 Alb, Al. We'll call him Alb. Alb. Call him Al. I do like the English thing where you can't pronounce like someone's name from a different culture, so you just go, I'm just going to call you Dave. <laughs> <laughs> um, why is stuff not connecting? Should re like automatically reconnect, but there again, the power conduit is not coming down through the base. A little bit more protected through the walls, which I think we can all agree is a banger langan. Yeah, very, very strong, very strong episode. The fact that we can leave it, we're all clean. Obviously, we lost our uh, blood farms, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm now curious to see how many vampires we need to like one person. Uh, let's blood feed on Woolly. Instead of using the blood packs over here. Does it affect Woolly? Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Consciousness. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep an eye on that. And that, party people, is actually a good place to say goodbye. Because we're rock a locking. It's a cool way of saying we're rocking. I think. Just embarrassing myself now. If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.